Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to more Civilization Beyond Earth. So it's been some time uh, since I uh, last touched this, so we're going to see how that goes. Uh, right now, I think my main concern is getting my health a little bit higher. Uh, it's not going to probably go into the full positives, because I want to get my cities out as quickly as possible. And I would like to claim as much of the territory around here as I can. Let's see, it looks like a city here would be good. I could reach down to that frac site, but then again, overall, the best place for the city would probably be here. Yeah. And, well, actually, no. Here would probably, here it should probably be the best. Very defensible. I'd get access to this Xenomass, which is the same amount, and then that would save me for a city location up here. Things to consider. But yeah, it's been like two weeks since I touched it. I've been busy with life. I haven't been feeling good. And uh, all kinds of things. But thankfully, the combination of the Miasma, as well as the fact that uh, I have a very big choke point means that they can't really do much. Just continue exploring. I don't mind that you go out into the water. Not at all. Uh, plus one health from clinics, or plus 15 hitty city points. I want the health. Health is good. And you can't really do anything militarily at this point, except for just, like, uh, weakening their cities. So it's just totally not worth it. I might as well just destroy what he has now, as they come, so that they don't upgrade. It's a bit more important in this game than in Civ 5 to do that, because... Units as if I don't auto upgrade. So you don't have to take care of the military so much. In fact, it can sometimes be beneficial because then they spend money on that instead. Uh, plus one production from trade post, plus one. Oh, I want the production. Thank you very much. So I'm going to want one... Uh, What's ours is yours. Yes. For a price. Together. Like one? No. One? You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. Okay, um what now? Was I rushing for anything particular? I don't remember. Uh I'd probably be best for me to get things like the recycler. Was I rushing for a wonder, I wonder? Pretty sure the gene vault has already been built. Yeah, gene vault. Everyone already has a spy at headquarters, do I? and I do too, right? No, I don't. Um, well then you know what? I probably should get computing. That's a long ways. Uh, let's get chemistry and then computing.
level up. Jerry, my guy's immune. Yeah, explorers are immune to me as well. Probably go and grab that float stone. It will give me a combination of being, you know, keeping that from getting nine float stone, which is quite significant, and gives me line of sight so I can see more over there, which is quite, quite good. Quite good. only have one. You must have done a ton of exploring stuff. He's a good explorer. Start sending you guys down here. Quite a number of aliens up there. You'll get minimal stuff. I think it'd probably be better to trade with uh, one of these guys, but they're aliens about, so I don't really want to do that either. So I, I guess for now, the best thing is uh, growth. I thought it was around there. But virtue, um, I need health for one. Two pot from borders is nice. Interesting. Do I get the health here? That reduces the amount of culture. Science penalty and culture penalty. I think for now. Yeah, the extra production there. And the extra health here is important. So I think I'm going to continue going down this way. Yeah, he's probably dead. Although, okay, there was, uh, their troops there. That's their territory. Grow on eleven turns. Why can't I build this? Whatever. Uh, build me the cryo nursery, and then after that, I'd say we get another colonist.
This may be helpful. Okay, I'll eat brown. Seven production, huh? But it's only one way. I'm not thrilled about it. Well, I'm not thinking about the, the location being here. Uh, these cities are actually okay. I can see I have to be one, two, three, four away. One, two, three, four. Yeah, put a city here-ish or something. Yeah, it's not terrible. Seven titanium there, though. I guess I could give up on the algae, but it depends what else is around there. Okay, uh, should I also get with the trade depot? It'll give me some extra production. Yeah, why not? Let's see, workers aren't immune to it, are they? Oh, they are! I have what makes them immune to it. Then I don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, for whatever reason, I didn't think I had it. A four billion year old world's worth of resources. Shared among a handful of people. We're going to make a fortune here. That's quite the number of aliens. Oh, I'll just stay here. Um, need to make some troops eventually, but for now I'm focusing on getting, expanding in this direction. Um, and then... After I make like a sweep, I'm going to start coming back in here. And then after that, I guess we could build a recycler? Why not? Use my policies for health right now. I think being in the, uh, slightly in the negatives is a, for, uh, okay. It's not great because it does actually make an uh, effect that's not based upon a certain threshold, but every one point you have, so it's definitely not as beneficial as it was before, but it's fine. Bloody lot of aliens. Looks like settling that area is going to be quite difficult. I can't mark tiles, but it's like I want one here, 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 and like there, something like that. There was a mod for Sid 4 that was really cool for stuff like that. I never actually used it, but 
you could like set things and know exactly like what things cross and you could plan out your plan out and actually have it like written out for you it was nice starting out with uh with certain buildings really helps the old monument i think it is is what i start with quite nice That's not bad at all. Oh, shoot. Not what I wanted. This is like the worst movement for them, too. Because if I attack, they might attack me. I really hate to lose my trade route. I don't think I already did that quest, so we'll just have to see. Maybe I did. You know what, I think... No. I would have built it here if I did, and I don't have it in here. see if they destroy it. Oh well, I didn't attack them because I don't want them to. Good, they moved off of it. So if you don't start the aggressive action towards them, maybe they won't do that, or maybe it's just the AI just took a roll and said, nope, we'll leave it. You know what? You're not really doing much here, and I don't think there's any real threat. So, we're going to move you up here, too. So there's just so many aliens. This area is, like, prime real estate. The de deserts are kind of OP, especially desert rivers. Because there's floodplains and such. Ugh, wow. This may be helpful. Currently maxed to tier three, huh? Looks like we've pretty much explored this entire continent. I can send my explorers back to my capital.
some energy. It's not surprising. I'm going to be falling behind quite heavily, I figure. Well, you know, it's about time I cut this video off. So thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.